Okay, I'm gonna go through um, the process of getting the new Mark Edit. So Mark Edit 7 or Mac OS 3 um, is now available. Um, you can pick it up from the download site, so markedit.net downloads. So I'll go ahead and download it. Uh, the program gives you um, information about uh, this version of Mark Edit. Uh, version 3, uh, this supersedes version 2, which has been around. Um, gives you information on how to uh, get Z39.50 support, although this may change. Um, I'm looking at embedding these libraries directly into um, the application. Uh, but for now, uh, the process is still going through Homebrew. Um, anyways, uh, you want to download it. Um, we'll go ahead and click the download and the program will go ahead and download. Uh, the application um, is provided as a compressed DMG. Uh, it used to be that the program was provided as just a straight DMG file um, for, as a mountable disk. Uh, I found that there were a number of folks who were having problems with that, particularly when trying to download on certain browsers. Um, so to avoid that this time around, I've gone ahead and just compressed it. Um, so the file's been downloaded, and let's go ahead and go through the steps. So go ahead and show it in Finder. All right, so a couple things to note. So I have an old version of Mark Edit here. So this is Mark Edit uh, 2, uh, point something or other. So it's the most current version of the, the Mac version of Mark Edit. So there it is. Um, I have some existing settings on the program. Um, I'm going to walk through the process of installing Mark Edit 3 and picking up the um, uh, existing configuration settings that you may want to pull with. Alright, so the first thing we'll do is we'll uncompress the DMG file. Um, the application package is a bit larger than the um, Mark Edit 2. Uh, this is partly due to changes in the um, linked data. Uh, framework which requires um, some additional framework components um, to be added. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we will mount the drive. Alright, so drive's been mounted. Um, I'm going to be updating the icon a little bit, cleaning it up. It's a Mac, the larger version of the screen here, the higher resolution makes the, the icon a little bit more pixelated than I'd like, but that's what it looks like. Uh, you'll see I've changed the colors, um, that's partly because with Mark Edit 7 and Mark Edit 3, um, we're shifting away finally from the older purplish blue color to something a little bit different. So installation is basically the same, uh, drag and drop into applications, um, I have it installed already so I'll go ahead and replace it. Um, this will not replace your current version of Mark Edit um, uh, on the Mac. So if you have Mark Edit uh, 2. Point something installed, this will install side by side. Uh, so it's been installed. Uh, so I'll go ahead and go to Applications, and I will find uh, Mark Edit 3 and boot it up. So when it starts up for the first time, um, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to um, verify the application. Uh, since it's run off the web, you'll get this pop-up. It's been signed, so you shouldn't get anything other than that. Um, go ahead and tell it OK. Uh, and it goes ahead and allows the thing to run. So the first time you run Mark Edit, you're going to get this little startup wizard. Um, you can uh, just tell it to use the default settings, or you can set the appearance, fonts, um, your data configuration settings. And if you have Mark Edit 2 on your system, uh, you can select what data you want to migrate. So I have all my settings in my Mark Edit 2 instance that I don't want to have to remember, and I have some tasks that I'd like to pull over. So I go ahead and export those. They've been pulled in, finished the program, and it says I'm done. So happy editing, and go ahead and click it, and we can find there is Mark Edit. So Mark Edit's ready now to, uh, to use. So the application is um, available and at this point now um, I can uh, go to my preferences and you'll see that uh, uh, I had some ILS settings they were they were pulled in um, I had some tasks they were 
brought with me. So it helps to integrate um, the content that had been there before. Um, so that way uh, it brings in, you'll see there's some differences to the program. Uh, this is the same as what you might have found in the previous version of the, uh, in the Mark Edit 7 if you've used it. Um, and there'll be continue to be some changes. You'll see clustering tools are here. Um, there's a lot of significant changes that have happened. Uh, blog post has been provided, so I would uh, recommend um, reading that to uh, see what kind of changes have been made. And that's it.